Planet Bees. How are you? Ah, oh, I just got home from work. I'm tired. I'm tired. What? Guess what I got? <laughs> I got the box from Jeanette from Miss Huda Hutness Crafts. It's a fair size box. It cost me almost a hundred dollars to ship it. <laughs> so this was it. <laughs> oh. So it, I resisted the urge to tear it open so that I could open it with you guys. <sighs> Got my trusty blade. Hoping to goodness I don't cut anything inside. She duct taped the crap out of this. So <clears throat> I'm going to undo duct tape. <laughs> Hold that thumb. Uh, okay. Now she did say but she couldn't fit all the yarn in the box. So she's sending a second package. <laughs> Not this big. But uh, the Kraken yarn is in here. So that's good. And I can start on that. Okay. Here we go. What? Oh. First thing on the top. Uh, so she went to Hobby Lobby. And as she was walking around Hobby Lobby, she's taking pictures. And she's sending them to me. And she's saying, okay, what, what else do you want? I'm like, well, <laughs> some, maybe some, um, I love this yarn print or ombre or, you know, like my, some of my favorites. <laughs> now the one, the Moody Mosaic is my absolute all-time favorite. <clears throat> that one, I don't think made it here. It's uh, on its way. <laughs> but that's Okay. Holy cow. Oh, this is cool. All right. So this is a print that I haven't seen. I don't know if this is a new print, but it's very Christmassy. So, um, this color is cobblestone. Uh, when I think of cobblestones, I'm thinking of grays and browns and, you know, like cobblestone <clears throat> okay fine but this to me screams Christmas right except maybe the yellows but oh that's so pretty oh I am so excited about that so I told her to grab me three or four of each color that I got so off the top I see three <gasps> Oh. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll just like pretend I don't see it. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I've had, no, I haven't had this color before. This is the print in Paint Party. There's another one that's very similar to this, but it doesn't have the yellow. Um, and I think it's mostly different purples and stuff like that. But, oh, that's so pretty. Ugh. This is the print, and I got one, two, three, okay, four. So the fourth one of the the other one that I just showed must be in the other package, but yes. Eek, four. Oh, this is gonna make a nice sweater. I really want to try and make another poncho, so we'll see. This one, oh, wait, the moody mosaic is in here. <laughs> Okay, this one I've had before, and I think I did a sweater out of this, and I loved it. It's called High Sierra Stripe. It's actually got more, more brown, more, yeah, there. Yeah. Love it. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I got four of these. Oh, that's my beauty mosaic is here. I'm so happy. Sorry, hang on. I'm out of camera shot, I know. I'm not much to look at anyway. <laughs> okay, 
There is my Moody Mosaic. Oh, I love this yarn so much. And it's, oh, it's like matching to my Angela yarn. <laughs> okay, so I got four of these. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I'm just loving this. Oh, okay, so I got the gray chenille home slim. <laughs> okay. Um this is the cracking color. It's actually darker than that. So both like that. So she got through four. Oh good lord. Four of these. So that's like I, I could get like two crackings out of this, I bet. So yeah. Oh ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. This is Chenille Home Slim. <clears throat> wow, it feels more like um, blanket yarn. But here's the red. Oh, it's so much darker than that. Oh, it's like a deep, deep, deep red. Oh, so I got two of these. Ah, this is going to be the color of the suckers on the Kraken. Oh, it's going to look so good. Look at them together. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to look amazing. I'm going to get started on it tonight. Hold that thought. She has another one in here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to get quite a few out of this, I think. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, oh. I got the, one of the new Karen lattes that I have been looking at. It's the marooned. Look at this. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, how beautiful is this? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I got, oh my goodness. I got a lot. What the? I, I didn't order all this, did I? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yes, I did. I remember that. I said, how many of them is there? She said seven. I said, grab them all. <laughs> so yes, I cannot wait to make something out of this. OMG. This is like Angela's colors, Angela from my precious journey. Maybe not the deep maroon, but the rest of it is her. Like, oh, this is so gorgeous. Wow. Like that's like a box of beautifulness. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. For those of you that are new or that have just joined me or that have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, I don't have, I'll put a quick, I'll put a picture here. This is the Kraken. Is it Connor the Kraken? Anyway, this pattern is by a wonderful local lady to me. Um, she lives like an hour away. And I will leave her link down below. Her octopus is going viral. Absolutely viral. Every... Um, Every channel that I see that has any kind of an amigurumi or plushy content is doing this octopus. <clears throat> so good on her. Good on her. I That's just awesome. Um, I always like to see it when somebody's pattern goes viral. You know, it's like that because that can make or break you, right? So <clears throat> she's got a bunch of other patterns. She just came out with a... Is it a gray whale, blue whale? What the hell kind of whale is that? Humpback. There we go. Humpback whale. Oh, I had to buy it. It's an $11 pattern for me, but I had to buy it. I wanted to support her 100%. So I got, there's a, a large one and then there's the small one. And the small one is still big, right? Uh, but the large one's big. <laughs> so, um, so I got the small one just to start because the pattern looks 
a little more difficult than the octopus, if you can believe that, because the sides of the whale kind of goes like that. Um, I've been hearing that it's an easy pattern, but I'm, we'll see. <laughs> so I got that pattern today. I, I actually messaged her and says, when's it coming out? She said, today. I was like, yes. So I ran over there right away <laughs> and I got it. So I will leave that down below as well. Um, but, oh, that gray might be good for the humpback too. And then I've got the beige. Oh man, am I going to be making the humpback right away too? Hmm. I've got so many things on the go, you guys. I'm taking tomorrow and Monday off. <clears throat> it's a holiday in Canada. And since I've had the shop, I haven't really taken any of the holidays off because I figured, you know, it's probably going to be busy. But now that I've decided to close the shop and we're closing far sooner than I expected, I'm thinking I'm going to take these two days and try and make some sense of my basement. I'm probably not going to take you down there because it's really embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I'll take you down there when it's somewhat cleaned out. And we've got, you know, some, some stuff going on, <clears throat> but, um, so I think what is going to happen is I'm going to start getting downstairs dealt with. And then throughout September and October, little by little, we'll start taking little bits out of the shop and putting it downstairs. That way we don't have one big move and we just dump it in the basement and then I'm completely overwhelmed, right? So, <clears throat> hold that thought. I have the hiccups. <laughs> it was kind of late for me to get home because my sister came to visit me. I don't see her near enough. She's doing good. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, so we talked quite a bit. And you know, when we get talking, it's just like time passes us and we go, oh crap. <laughs> So it was like six o'clock by the time I got out of the shop. <clears throat> so by the time I got home, I couldn't, I, I thought, oh, I can't eat anything really major because I'll just get sick. So I, um, I just made some soup. So I ate it a little too fast because I wanted to get into this. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, okay. I guess that's everything. Okay. I'm so excited. Oh. I got my, my shirt done. Did I show you guys that? I think I showed that to you. Yes, I think I should. Maybe I didn't. Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I got my shirt done. I'm starting to, I, I completely revamped the other sweater, the blue and black one. I took the, the panel off that has the Jacob's Ladder. I'm deciding, you know what? No, I'm going to just do the granny stitch. Get it done. <clears throat> and then I can get on to better things. Like making another sweater with this stuff. <laughs> oh, campfire cardigan with that latte. Oh man. I have so many ideas. Okay. You know, I really can't wait until I close the shop so I can come home and actually focus on stuff that I enjoy and, uh, and start creating. Oh, that reminds me. I have an idea. Don't know if it's going to happen. I want your guys' opinion. Um, but I had a thought. Okay. Now, would you guys think it's a good idea? Or would you be interested? I don't know. I don't know. But if, if you guys or somebody else, a commission, um, asks me if I could make, I don't know, if I can make a sweater for them or, you know, um, a hat or like whatever, have it videotape the process of that order from start to finish. And that way the person that is, uh, that bought this item will get to see how it was made. And, and the, pro the progress of the start to finish. And then I could name the video 
say, I don't know, Sarah, Sarah sweater, you know, or whatever. And then I'll have it in a playlist for, you know, them to be able to watch, um, you know, as a kind of, Hey, you want to watch what I'm making and watch your order being made. And then when you get it, you're going to go, Hey, cool. You know, I don't know. It's just something I thought of. Like, I know that on, not TikTok. Oh, what's that other one? It's where people go gaming and, oh, I can't think right now. I know you're probably screaming it at me. But anyway, um, that some people have a live where they are gaming or making something that somebody ordered uh, and they get to watch in live, in live time um, the process of them doing it. I don't know about that because sweaters take me a couple of days. So, um, yeah, I thought it would probably be better if I just did the video with the edits and everything, um, put music to it, something, I don't know. So tell me what you think. Hi, yarn bees. So, um, today's Saturday and I actually thought it was Sunday. So I wasn't planning on coming into work today <laughs> until I realized it was Saturday. <laughs> I was like, ah, crap. So I had to come in and I'm glad I did because today has been a whirlwind of a day. It's like quarter to three. And you know, my sales haven't been high, but I've had people come in saying, you know, I heard you were closing. Um, I really feel sad you know, and stuff like that. And, um, I've had other people come in saying, um, you know what, I've closed my shops before and don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Um, this is opening up door, new doors for you, uh, better doors, you know, and I'm really encouraging me. And I thought, wow, okay. I, I needed to hear that. <clears throat> and then I had a guy come in that's from Winnipeg and he says you got shot glasses and I was like yeah and he says can you make me one that says Shemanus I said sure he says nobody in this town sells anything that has Shemanus on it except you great because I've got tumblers and keychains and because everybody said you know make stuff that says Shemanus none of it sold so I don't know. But anyway, um, now that I think about it, I just made a whole bunch of shot glasses from for the visitor center. They had a bunch of crap. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so there's that. And then I had a couple people come in that I was telling them the story about making at the anchor of the oct octopus. And the Kraken that I'm working on. I'm like up to my eyeballs and tentacles right now. Um, let's see. <laughs> this is how long the leg's going to be. <laughs> so. Um, and. I was explaining how I make the eyes myself. And all that kind of stuff. The very first Octo that I made. The purple one. She bought yay i was so happy i was so happy my octo found is found has found a home so that's really nice and then i had a, a lady and her husband come in and i tell you my mind is just blown majorly blown she does sublimation and she has a cricket machine and she was having some issues with her graphics. She says, how do you get your graphics to look so pristine and so clear and, and you know, the colors are so good. And so I directed her to a um, YouTube channel where I got the settings for my machines and all that. And she says, well, where do you get your graphics from? So I told her and I said, for the most of it, I put like five graphics together to make my own. And she says, have you ever used AI? I just looked up not too long ago, or actually the last few days, of how to use AI for graphics. Because, and I wasn't even thinking about my sublimation stuff, 
for those of you that are new that don't know, um, I'm a writer as well. And I actually, <laughs> this is my novel. Not a very big novel, but it's a novel. Um, this is a book that I wrote. And um, I also have a children's book. Now, I have five children's books written, ready to go, but I don't have an illustrator. So, because the, oh, excuse me. <sighs> the illustrator that I had for my other book, which is called Bully Robin Redbreast, that you can get on Amazon and all that. Uh, but I wouldn't because I don't know if you, I don't know if the print, you can get the print now because um, apparently the pub publisher that I had the book with said that they can't print that book because they've changed the binding and I would have to get it republished if I want the new binding. And I was like, not a chance because that's going to cost me a fortune. So anyway, um, she was saying, yeah, you can do your own graphics and you don't have to worry about copyright and all that. And I was like, yeah, but how I said, I'm, I'm kind of confused on how to use it. And her husband, she says, my husband's the techie one and he taught me and I'm able to use it. And she showed me some of the graphics that she did and they were amazing. So he said to me, he says, give me an idea of something. Just throw something out there. So I looked down at Bailey and I said, um, how about a Maltese Shih Tzu crocheting an octopus? I thought, yeah, I get thrown for a curveball. He said pretty much exactly that. And boom, it came up with the most adorable picture. Now, it did, it did have a knit, a knitted pattern with knitting needles that had a hook on the end. But <laughs> um, it was adorable. It was adorable. And I told my sister, you gotta send that to me. <laughs> so I'm still waiting for that graphic to show up. If I have it, I'll show it here. But I, yeah, I'm still waiting for it. So anyway. Um, I was shocked, absolutely shocked that he was able to pull that up like right away. Uh, so I gave him an idea of the books that I was writing. He says, throw another one out there. So I says, well, one of my children's books is about a horse that has cow spots. He's typing it out. Boom. It comes up. I'm like, oh my God. It's as easy as that. And I thought, wow, okay, this is a game changer for me because not only can I get the graphics for my stuff and not have to worry about putting graphics together and, you know, taking a bunch of graphics and figuring out what I want. I just have to use the AI and let the AI do it for me. And I can do all of my books and I was like holy cow so yeah I was just spinning by that time um, and then Steve British Steve at the British shop he came in he's a writer um, I was telling him about this he goes oh yeah I says you know about this he goes oh yeah he says I use it for writing I'm like what so we started talking about my my novel and my children's books and everything he says, I can teach you a lot of stuff and you don't have to go through the publisher to get your stuff done. I says, well, I self-published, but I says, you know, I still have to go through them to print it. And he goes, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm like, what? He says, you can get it done through Amazon. What? He says, oh yeah. He says, we'll have coffee. And I'm like, okay, so. The moral of the story is don't even worry about closing my shop because I just had a whole new world open up to me and like I've got so much stuff that I'm going to be able to do that was closed to me before. So yeah. Uh-huh. 
So I'm excited. I'm really excited. And now I'm going to, once I close the doors here, I'm going to have the downtime to be able to deal with all this and figure it all out. I'm, you guys, I'm going to need a vacation just from all the information that just got put into my head. Oh, man. Like Steve says to me, he says, I want you to succeed. And he says, you're feeling so down right now. He says, I want you to succeed. And I was like, well, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. And he says, and you're going to succeed with my help. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm obviously the universe is working for him. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'm just, I'm really, my brain, I'm wiped out. Um, mentally, I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm going to go. I have more of these I have to make. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, this stuff, this stuff, this is the Chenille Home Slim, right? This is Chenille Home Slim, but this feels like the velvet yarn, like the, um, the plushy velvet. This feels like blanket yarn, like the, um, uh, what is that? Clo those cloths, uh, microfiber cloths. I can't stand the feel of this. It's awful. Ugh, it's like nails down the chalkboard. Same freaking brand. Why do they feel so different? They even look different. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, all I have to do is the tentacles for the, in this color and then I'm done with it. So maybe I'll sell the other ones I've got or something. I don't know, but I do not like the feel of this. But this stuff is plush. I love this, the feel of this stuff. I don't get it. I don't, under, is it the color? So maybe something in the dye? And it just, it looks like if you look, look at the difference in these. See that? This one's thicker than this. And this one looks, Man not mangled um it looks i don't know it's not as is this is like a caterpillar <laughs> this is not this is like a molting caterpillar or something I don't know. <laughs> but yeah it's weird how they're the same brand but totally different feels to them it's all about the feels anyway i'm gonna go i've got to get this done and figured out and i will show you when it's done Hi, Aaron and Bees. I'm a hot mess. I look, I haven't, I, mm, 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 yeah, we'll just pretend that's not there. <laughs> I've been up since six o'clock this morning. It is now 11. Ooh. I've been working on the tentacles for the big order. God, I am looking a mess. All right. Oh, God. Um, for the big order that I'm doing, the Kraken just finished the uh, the tentacles <laughs> so I'm up to my armpits and tentacles um, so this is how they're turning out so far now I'm about to do the little main part of the body I designed some eyes that I'm, no I didn't oh I designed the eyes for the forest guardian for my friend's order. I haven't designed the eyes for this yet. Crap. I'm going to have to go and do that. Because the next part of this, well, after I put all the legs together, <coughs> is putting on the eyes. So I need eyes. Now, I did get some 30 millimeter eyes in the mail. I think I showed you some. Um, so I'm not sure. I won't know until I get the the main part of the body done as to which size eyes I'm going to need. I don't know if the 30 millimeters are going to be too big. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So I guess we'll figure that out. <sighs> um, I was sitting here watching um, a channel called Going Crochet I'll leave her link down below. Um, I, I love watching her. She's really fun. Uh, so 
I got a knock, get a knock on the door and I got an Amazon package. Oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, getting an Amazon package is not unusual in this household. So I was like, what? Oh, what is this package now? I can't remember. It was one of those late night um, shopping things, I think. Because I remember uh, just recently, again, MJ off the hook, just came out with a pumpkin pattern, a granny square pumpkin pattern. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh, right. I put, I had this stuff, A535, that I'm putting on my hands because my hands are really sore. And then I just rubbed my eyes. So now my eyes are watering. Stupid. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, once again, MJ got me. She's doing a lot with <clears throat> granny stitch that, like, she's on this granny stitch kick. <laughs> she's doing a whole series of stuff. So anyway, <clears throat> she's now, she's done a pumpkin in the granny stitch. But what she did was she put a muslin bag inside with rice to weight it down. Now, I don't like the idea, <clears throat> excuse me, of using the rice <clears throat> because the rice, I mean, if you, if you're able to open the pack, the stuffy and change out the rice, then that's fine. But this was tied up, right? So I have a bit of an issue with using beans, rice, stuff like that to weight my stuff because of bugs. Um, I, yeah, I got a thing. So recently I found something I didn't even know existed. I had no idea. And that is poly beads. Now, when you look at polyfill, the poly brand came out with these beads. I had no idea. So I got two bags of these poly beads. And they are, yeah, they're like, oops. They're like little plastic beads. Here, I'll turn you around. So this is what they look like. Okay. I thought that that would be perfect because you know the dragon that I made the, with the long to the th three foot dragon I thought what if you put a layer on the bottom of the body that was poly beads to weight it down so if you have an autistic child that wants to cuddle with the dragon you can put that on their chest or on their body to give them comfort so that's kind of where I was going with that in the first place but then she came out with these pumpkins and I thought, hmm. So I got two bags of these poly beads and then I got, she had three or four sizes of muslin bags for her pumpkins. So, oh, this is in a plastic bag, hang on. Get them out. <clears throat> so I got, what size were these? Does it say? Um, doesn't say. I think they were five inch, five inch by seven inch or something. Come out. Holy cats. Uh, <clears throat> so I think that's the medium sized pumpkin that she did. So they look like that and they've got a drawstring. So now you don't fill up this whole thing I don't think because that's a lot of poly beads so what I'm thinking about doing is just doing like maybe that much in poly beads and then doing the rest in polyfill putting all the polyfill in here or something I don't know, I'll, have to, I'll have to figure it out so because I thought you know using this whole thing poly beads that's going to be way too much um and it's going to be way too expensive. So I, if I kind of do a half and half, I think that should be pretty good. Or even do just a just enough to like to hear or something. Oops. Just to hear or something. Just enough to weight it down a little bit. <clears throat> so, but I thought this idea was great. And I thought, why haven't I done something like that 
for my stuffies because I know a lot of people use nylons and all that <clears throat> but I don't know I I my friend Helen she uses um, nylons but I tried it and I just can't get it to it looks really lumpy for me I don't, I'm probably doing it wrong but we'll see how this goes so I'm excited I got 50 in a package and it didn't cost me very much. I think it was like $12 or something. So, so we'll see how that goes. Like I don't have enough stuff going on. I got a few different patterns, uh, um, plushy patterns that I'm going to be trying out after I get this done and after I get my forest creature done. And I'm thinking I might have to tell my other friend I can't do those dash hounds. There's just too many color transitions and I don't want to be stressed out about it. If it was just a plain black and brown dash hound or even a black and cream or something like that, that would be fine. Like that one dash hound I could probably do in the white and black, but yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> so yeah, I might have to let that one go, you know. But I, my my friend Chris, um, she comments all the time on my channel. She kind of went. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fine. So yeah, I think I might have to do that. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm going to get these together. I feel like I just haven't gotten anything done today. And I'm realizing that some of these tentacles are longer than the others, which might not be a bad thing because... Not every octopus is the same. Yeah, there's one tentacle that's longer. One. Oh, maybe two. How did I manage that? I think it's just because of the way I crocheted it. Because the bobbles count is, is right. But, yeah, there's just a couple that are longer. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, now the fun part. I This part was daunting for me, I'll tell you. Because this stuff, oof, that stuff was hard to work with. And it kept, it didn't glide. That's why I don't use blanket yarn. Because blanket yarn, I don't care if you're using a metal hook, a plastic hook, a bamboo hook, it doesn't glide. It doesn't, it just goes, you know. And it's, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't like the feel of it microfiber kind of feels just like <laughs> hate it so I'm glad I'm finished that part and I don't have to use that color again <laughs> just saying um yeah <laughs> okay I'm gonna go and start doing this other part hey <laughs> Here in a basin. <sighs> so your girl just tried to almost jump off a bridge. <laughs> I I am so defeated, so angry, and so I'm just beside myself. Today is Monday. I just woke up. I had to drug myself last night to go to sleep. Because I was just so... I, did, I, I think I skipped rage and just went into a complete spiral in an instant. 
and went into a pit of despair and anger. Or, uh, uh, see, I can't even talk. I am so messed up right now. <sighs> Yesterday, I was working on my Kraken. I got up 6.30 in the morning. I started working on it. I got to the point where I had to make the eyes. I made the eyes. Then I got a message from a customer. I forgot that he had ordered a couple of shot glasses and that I was supposed to take them out to the shop to meet him because he was leaving out of back home to go back home. I think I told you guys all this, but we're reiterating, okay? Um, just doing that and having to drop everything, make these things up real fast and leave. I guess threw me so far off track. that when I came back home and I started working on the Kraken again, I worked on it until one o'clock in the morning. I wanted to get it done. Oh, you guys. You know when you're so angry, you can't even shed a tear, you know? <laughs> I'm at that point. I talked to Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts, and she was telling me that she put these little web pieces in between the legs, and I was like, that's a great idea. So I sat and I made all of these webs, and I put them on, and I was so proud of myself. I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, you're gorgeous. You know, it looked fantastic. I knew the customer was going to be so happy. I went to put it down on the floor to take pictures. And then something struck me that was so glaringly obvious. I had absolutely no idea that this was, it was like this. <sighs> this thing is constructed kind of like in two pieces. You make the legs, then you sew the legs together, then you construct the lower body and the eyes, the eyes, the, all that's one piece. Then you do the head and you sew the head on. And you do the bottom, you sew the bottom on. <laughs> Out of all of that, I constructed this whole mother, this thing, without realizing what I had done. And it's not like I can even take this thing apart to fix it. Do you see the problem? These tentacles are supposed to be on the inside. It's supposed to be like that. This whole piece, the webbing and everything, the eyes, this whole piece 
is constructed in one piece. I can't take this piece off and take it down to the base, flip it, and recreate it. This whole thing would have to completely come apart, including the underneath. The eyes would be destroyed. How? How could I get that far and re not realize that these were on the wrong side? If I take the back off and I try to get the underneath off, it's sewn well, so well, I don't think I can even do it. The fact of the matter is I would have to cut into here to get the eyes out, frog all of this. And I did a lot of stitching down through the body to get this to crease, to get the back to crease. There was a lot of shaping involved in this. And throughout all this, I still did not see that these were on the wrong side. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't. I can't. Look at how beautiful the webbing is on this, though. It turned out great. to start over and I told the customer I could probably have it there tomorrow I don't know how I did this I don't understand I don't like I just don't I don't get it. This was supposed to be my epic creation. It was epic, all right. Oh, God. I just can't even. That was a lot of work. Okay, I'm gonna go. And, uh,